Hi everyone, Michael from Bullion Now, bullionnow.com.au. Normally I leave the charting up to Joe, but I wanted to do a bit of an extension of the gold silver ratio videos that we've done um, just to highlight some. Um, some differences or some changes that we're it's early days yet and it may not happen but just some early indications are starting to kick in so what I've got up here on the screen is the gold price and the silver price back to 2013 so the gold is this line chart all the way back and the silver is the candle chart all the way back to 2013 and you can see that the two prices mirrored each other all the way through pretty much word for word until we get into 2017 where they start to separate a little bit and then 2018 2019 you can really start seeing the prices completely separate um, which is which is unusual um, as you can see over time and if we take it back even further you can see that this period from 2017 through to now is is odd um, if I can go back now if we go and call up the um, just get rid of that. This is the gold silver ratio that we talked about last time and again this is back down to 2015 and I can take it further out if we need to. But you can see there like your standard gold silver ratio even here is is kind of around the the, the 60 to 70 mark here. We've been right out till above uh, 92 and if I go further back you can see there that the gold silver ratio this is back to 2010 kind of like that the standard is kind of this 50 to 60 range um, over the last decade but you can definitely see an uptrend there um, but we're starting to see and unfortunately can I move that out of the way no it's not letting me so what I might do is I'll blow that up you can see here a fairly large candle turnaround on the gold silver ratio um, and we're seeing a drop back now to to 90 to 1 um, it hasn't broken through any support chains it hasn't or support lines I should say it hasn't broken through anything but the indications are just there we're starting to see a sharp turnaround in the gold silver ratio if we go back to the gold price back here and we blow that up you're starting to see a turnaround here of potentially a break through a support line through a resistance line um, we're starting to see the turn off there and the other thing that I found interesting and I was looking at it this morning is we're starting to see wrong one oh no that's that's May so you can see there there's a there was a drop in um, sorry I should explain what this is this is the London Metal Exchange silver volumes and um, open interest on the market so you can see there's a fairly large drop here down to an open interest of about 2000 um, in the open interest and then if we come back to um, June you can see that 2000 is gradually building the open interest on the market is gradually building so I'm not saying that we're seeing the turnaround I'm not saying that this is the peak and we've started the turnaround but what I am saying is that there's some interesting signs coming silver today if we go to the um, the Kitco market that we all look at you can see there in US dollars that um, just wait for it to update um, so we'll just pause okay sorry about that the system's now updated so you can see this is last night's close or early this morning Australian time um, close on the on the market and look this is not this is not like I said a call for for a top but we're starting to see interesting things we're seeing gold you can see here it's pulled back eight US dollars and it's actually a drop of about half a percent whereas silver's gone up and we haven't seen that in the past we've always seen gold jump by a larger margin and silver will jump a smaller amount or not at all so there's just some early signs there that it's worth paying attention to and let's just see over the next couple of weeks um, if we're actually at the top and we've started the turn down so that's all I wanted to highlight for today um, so thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk later on in the week